And as you can see overnight and this morning, a lot of people were left in dark rooms, getting some cold meals. Thousands of people in the region had to overcome all this this morning. Katrina Weber shows us how power lines and tree limbs just don't mix. Long before sunrise, dark skies were expected, but dark traffic lights, street lights, and buildings were not. And for many people, that was part of the problem that started off this wintry Wednesday morning. Yeah, we had power. It was uh, actually flickering. Brandy Zillish was one of the lucky ones. At one point, though, people in about 40,000 homes and businesses lost electricity. CPS Energy crews scrambled picking up downed power lines like these near Gilbo and Bandera roads and repairing other problems. In a tweet, the utility said the weather was to blame. These smaller trees are really not the problem, but this kind of freezing on larger trees and power lines is what CPS Energy says has caused most of the outages. It was only after Zillish hit the road that she realized anything was wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then I figured, you know, since there's no school to the gate for the kids and she came out to pay her property taxes, but found all county offices closed. The government got ahead of the weather and the outages here. I guess, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they'll be open tomorrow. Zillish easily was ready to put this inconvenience in the past. Others all over town also hoped for quick relief from the power outage problems. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.